Yeah, I can't imagine the scale of the tragedy, like what this must feel like as the world. Is that One Punch Man? <laughs> Is it? Looks like him. Imagine like Batman, Flash, Aquaman, or Fish Guy, or whatever, all in like now. Your childhood heroes. Is that Omni-Man flying with the planes? How dare you. You have no right. And he gives a speech too. That hurts. Okay, Omni-Man, sad face, sad face. But no matter what threat I faced, I knew I wasn't facing it alone. Darkwing, Aquarius, War Woman, Green Ghost, Red Rush, Martian Man, Immortal. Yeah, this is a huge deal. The Guardians of the Globe. It's tough to imagine what this must feel like. We grieve about celebrities. And it's not just that they were greater in scale, maybe, in terms of what they represent and the symbols that they are, but also that it was like all of them. What's kind of funny is I'm watching My Hero Academia at the same time, and that's sort of what the villains of that show want. And here we have it. Like, here's the actual fallout of losing that kind of symbol. I guess all it takes is having evil Superman. Today, we have lost titans, protectors, heroes. You have no damn right. <laughs> we are left to wonder who will save us now. I Not... will. Oh. <laughs> okay. So will others like me. He really turned that emotion around, didn't he? He went right to happiness. Real quick. Almost as if he wasn't really sad. You will have moments of doubt, of fear, of uncertainty. But in those moments, have faith. And look to the sky. For me. I mean, he's still doing the symbol thing, so they, they haven't totally lost that. I guess he's aware of the symbolic significance. The public can't know where the actual bodies are buried. Mm. Souvenir hunters. Ooh, this world. I was never a guardian of the globe. He gives the personal eulogy too. They were my mentors. My oh. Comrades. Oh, that makes it my friends. way worse. Even though it was already really bad. Martian man was exiled from his own people. War woman was from a different age. Darkwing... Rich guy. He's just rich. I hope they will rest in peace, but at least they will rest together. I mean, he's a good speaker. I'm making jokes about his indifference and his arrogance, but the truth is I don't really know. I mean, there's got to be some conflict there, right? For sure he has this egotistical streak. He doesn't like to be contradicted. He does see himself as amazing, obviously, but that's a totally different thing from being unfeeling. Although that's possible. I don't know. He could just be nuts. I'm sort of waiting to find out why, why he did that. Why? This could happen to the Guardians of the Globe. It means that none of us are... <laughs> All right, these are pretty good. I get it. How you feeling, Omni Man? How you doing? You all right with it? This Everything? is a private ceremony, Dark Blood. Mm, never get invited. Show up anyway. Like this guy's style. <laughs> Saw nothing, heard nothing. Attacked in darkness, left for dead. Are you insinuating something? Mm. Didn't mean to offend. Nuance of human conversation, difficult for me. He knows what he's doing. If you remember something, I'll call you. See, I increasingly feel like the mom is aware of what's going on. She knows something's wrong. You know, for a bunch of computer she must code, know. you run a main superhero team. He's the man, or the, the robot, or whatever. He's great. Except for the nuclear thing. He went there really quickly. Would Omni-Man not be the natural choice? Sure. Except it's never gonna happen. I've tried for a decade to make him an official guardian. He helps out, yeah, but he's never taken orders. Doesn't want to be helmed in. Yeah, Omni-Man wouldn't take orders, would he? It's kind of cool to see Omni-Man threatened by Hellboy because there's no threat to Omni-Man power-wise, especially now with the Justice League wiped out. But there is a threat information-wise. He, he values his life and he values his image. So it's funny how like immediately you can see that he has that level of fear slash respect for Hellboy. I'm you guys all right? Pizza. I can be to Naples and back before the He's cheese so bad stops at bubbling. Be normal. I battled alien tyrants. I have to watch myself give deep. this amazing speech. To to Look how great I am. Doubt. We are left to wonder. Mark, who will save us now? Why don't you call William? And do what? Hang I out? Go buy comic books? After this? Hey. Right. See, that's a more natural response. It feels. You can't bring it home. Okay. Can I go to my room? That's not bad advice, but I feel like the subtext there is like, don't think about you the Justice just League. came from your friend's funeral. Co-workers. Yeah, yeah. And you're talking about pizza and telling Mark not to feel Yeah, anything. right. 
Hey, he could run fast, okay? It's not exactly one of your premier superpowers. He's not really selling this lie. He's not torn up inside. That sort of answers that question. Yeah, who are you kidding? Hello? Oh, she answered that phone quick. Hey, it's uh, <laughs> Ma it's Mark Grayson. Grayson. It's yours to lose, Mark. Yours to lose. Who? Mark? Oh, God. You thought I was serious. Oh, no, no. I, I, I... This is going well. I came on too strong. You've got a girlfriend. You're lame and you don't like chicks who kick assholes in the balls when they throw. I see you. what she did there. Uh... You're terrified of me, aren't you? <laughs> no. Oh no, she's she's closing in, Mark. Run. <laughs> she's figured you out. You want to start again? Hey, handsome Mark Grayson? What's going on? <laughs> she's good. It doesn't really matter. You know, they both like each other. That's how that goes. I was thinking finals are coming up and we're both in Miss Walker's global issues class. Maybe we can go over everything together? A not bad, study not bad. date? Well played. Safe and responsible. Yeah. No pressure. Right? But with potential for things to but move intimate. to the next level. Yep. Smooth. She just puts it right up all there in the open, doesn't she? When and where? Well, that went about as good as it could go. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> it's funny because people agonize so much about what to say and how to come across well. And there's no substitute for just two people liking each other. She made up her mind a long time ago. That's why she's been so aggressive. And that's why she's just sitting around waiting for his call, basically. And he's liked her forever. Although the fact that she saw him with... uh What's her name? Purple girl. Didn't hurt. Everything's coming up, Mark. <laughs> Except for the fact that, you know, his father's a mass murderer. Annihilates alien planets, etc. I could see that becoming an issue at some point. Although Mark seems to be in a little bit of danger just because... She's gonna wrap her head around him so, so fast. She already has. He's just like this little boy. He's gonna melt in her hands. I thought you were at the funeral. Oh no, who's she in there with? Okay. Is it her boyfriend? Like, this girl's boyfriend? Hmm. Anything happening? Is Rex around? Yeah, I can't figure out the plot, but I can figure out when someone's doing something. Piece of shit! Babe, wait! Hang on! I so knew there was a reason wait, you skipped the funeral! Uh, just, just wait a Don't second! Don't even... Oh, God! Are you kidding me, Kate? I... I can't believe this! Eve... Oh, I am such an idiot! <laughs> what the hell? Well, that solves the problem of the jerk boyfriend, I guess, as if that was really an issue. Now we got a good old fashioned love triangle on our hands. I thought I heard something. I thought I heard noises in there. I thought it was another character though. Rex said you're dating Invincible now. Said that you guys talked about it. What? Oh. oh don't give me that. This guy's a jerk? What a surprise. <laughs> Whatever I expected, I guess I was wrong about both of you. Well, it feels like she got lied to, although uh, she could have checked. This doesn't mean shit. Oh, no, don't burn that bridge, too. I didn't... You That's really not. blew this bad. Yeah, but you know what I mean, right? Which makes me wonder again why you won't try out. I know, I talked it over with my dad. He wants to train me himself. Plus, my mom and wants to keep him off more school. the Justice League. Yeah, it's your mom that'll kill you if you join, not your dad. I'll still be around helping. When does this all get started? What's the advantage of joining the group, anyway? Doesn't it just put you under, like, government jurisdiction? Seems dubious, questionable. <laughs> Nice. Those of you who are up to the challenge will succeed not just by the uniqueness of your abilities, but by the uniqueness of your tactics. You're, you're all doomed. You have no idea what you're signing up for here. You're signing up for your deaths. The agility. Is she changing size? Yeah, she's answering that, that question, that meme with the Avengers. Why doesn't Ant-Man just go into Thanos' butthole? She did it. <laughs> she killed killed him. The strength of your character and spirit. I was waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> that is what truly makes a hero. Some of these characters, a lot of these characters, are damn good speakers. Duplicate, Monster Girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I had the same reaction as Rex. But isn't there like an age requirement for this ride? Am I wrong? This seems weird, right? You had to be that guy. Isn't there a dick size requirement? I'm sorry. Oh! For what? Your tiny dick? Oh! You must be compensating for something. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this would cut deeper if he didn't just have like a seven sum with his coworker. Guess you missed my tryout. And why do they call her Monster Girl, I wonder? Oh, she can become Shrek. Still think I'm adorable. You see, fighting villains is like an onion. Is this okay? Yeah. She's alright with it for now. Yeah. Someone should really 
Stop the no, okay. Okay, enough. Get lost, there you go. Boy Scout. I said oh. enough. Invincible hit that little girl. Oh no, that's so unfair. He got set up. Nah, my bad. At least he's cool about it. As I was saying, welcome to the Guardians of the Globe, Monster Girl. I'm gonna ship blood. Along with his <laughs> once he's recovered. And our final member, Adam Eve. Solid choice. Thank you all for coming today. I'm glad to have seen in the last couple episodes Mark developing this this compassion because I don't know for some reason I had a weird feeling about him as the show began. He just seems like awkward teenager without really much there, and maybe that was true. It seems like he developed a lot of it from the experiences he's had in the time he's been a hero, like especially especially with trying to save that woman. It's a little bit more satisfying than just like I want to be a hero like my dad, you know. Rex cheated on me. What? With duplicate, all three of her. Whoa. Whoa. Right. It is a whoa moment for sure. Them. Rex told her you and me were a thing? Ugh. Didn't have to add that ugh, but okay. Breakfast is at 6 a.m., then close in combat exercises until lunch. All of you are dead. But I was with the Guardian from day one. Wow, thanks, Dad. Maybe if you didn't lose your powers, you might have been there to help the Guardians on their last day. Lucky he wasn't. I don't know you either, but we need a little bit of look in the eye, not a bunch of ones and zeros. No offense. That's actually super offensive. So, <laughs> wait, you think you should be in charge? I'm new to this whole team thing, but I thought it involved teamwork. As did I. Right. <sighs> Call me when you figure it out. I'll be in the gym. Remember that part of the speech about character? Good first day, robot. Why is everyone so um, mean to robot? He's just doing his best. I can't He's a good guy or robot. Exercises a day. Whenever I transform, I get younger. It's part of the curse that gives oh. my powers. I don't look it, but I'm 24 years old. That means she's doomed. If you don't want to start changing my diapers, three exercises a day. Yeah, that's tough. That's a tough call. I that's a real sacrifice. Of course. My apologies. She's going to all the way Benjamin Button at this rate. Try having a normal relationship looking like this. Yeah. The guys who oh, are interested God, that are either sucks. going through puberty or popping up on sex offender registries. I understand yeah. what it's like for the world Do to you? see <laughs> one thing. Never knowing the truth of what's inside. How can mm. you understand? You're a robot. Oh, you just made the same mistake, you idiot woman slash girl. Pathetic. This is my competition. I'll annihilate them just like I annihilated that alien planet. So maybe Amber likes comics too. Have you thought of that? You dick? I'm not talking about the comics. I'm talking about the dirty clothes, the dishes, the tissues. Uh. Well, you don't can't have tissues in your room? <laughs> no tissues for me. Some ta coats. I haven't read any of those. Uh, but she has, so get started. No, this is the wrong Amber, advice. interested in her. No, no. It's just a study date, not a first date. Uh, Mark, every date should feel like a first date. Mark! Everything is a date. Friends That's kind of true. None of the specifics of that advice is bad. It's just the, the phoniness of that advice is bad. If it's not Mark, it's not Mark. And from my brief impression of Amber, it seems like she's the kind of person who would value honesty and genuineness over like these superficial things. She's all out there in the open. She's really great, for example, at turning a gaffe into something funny. And that makes it endearing. So like none of this stuff matters. What was it that initially attracted her to him or got her attention? I don't remember. I'm low-key loving the, the dating aspect of this show. It's funny, like, I never know, you know, I never know what it is that's gonna grab me. It's always the weirdest things, like the slice of life stuff in My Hero Academia. You can thank me later when you call me and tell me exactly how it all went. This guy's really looking out, though. I appreciate that. Oh, doing the, doing the inspection. William said I should read it to show you that I'm interested. Interest there you go, that's the right way to play that. I will. I like that. This is more me. An honest man. I nice. Like that. Yeah. 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 There you go. There we go. Hold on. It's just uh, my other girlfriend calling. I okay. don't know who that is. Um, I figured we should start with global issues and then move. Oh, you were actually going to study? <laughs> good man. Good man. I'm going to run and use your bathroom while you deal with that. Yeah. Uh, just answer the phone. Down the hall. Tell the on the left. F off. All right, come on. Let's not be mad because somebody called them. The darker side of Amber emerges. Well, then the whole concept of personal privacy or me time, phew, that's out the window. When the world needs you, you answer your goddamn phone. This is why you don't join the Justice League. Rogue supervillain. Public in danger. Eve's already en route. Here, so we can talk on the go. Eve's gonna be there? Well, don't <laughs> sweeten the deal. This almost makes it worth leaving my Amber date. Mount Rushmore. What state is that again? 
What do they teach you kids in school these days? Everyone knows that. It's in North Carolina. Oh, I forgot I promised I'd help him with this thing. Now? Not a good look. And this is not honest. How's it going in here? Oh no, mom with the juice. <laughs> mom comes in with the juice at the best time. South Dakota. As moms do. You know where Mount Rushmore is, Cecil? Oh, it's in South Dakota? Damn it. I made a joke about being stupid only to find out I'm actually stupid. I say it's stupid not because it's important to know where Mount Rushmore is, but because I was literally just there a couple months ago. But I don't know. I feel like if I was a superhero, especially if I had powers like Invincible, I would just be out in the open about it. This is annoying. I know it's a trope and I know you gotta protect your loved ones, but it's just too much of a hassle. <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't hide it. I'd just be like, listen, Amber, I'm a hero. They call me- They were oppressors, racists, slave owners. I give you a new God worthy of worship. Bow before <laughs> Right. He'll emancipate you from and your then lives. <laughs> Make you bow down before me. Oh, I guess. He's just gonna kill them. Wow, okay. Man, I'm still working on my one-liners, but that one is really bad. Back you go, a Blinken. <laughs> That's how you get ahead in life. No. See, it's not right there. It's not there. Nope. Uh, thanks. Anytime. They make a great pair. Gloves have fingers. They're more uh, earthquake bracelets. <laughs> You're wearing earthquake bracelets. He's getting some personality, even though these are terrible lines. At least he's not just sulky Mark all the time now. We can tear down the old power structure, build a new order, and enslave everyone that under costume it. Costume they've got you in. Talk about pandering to gender roles. I designed my own costume. Oh no. I'm a doctor, it was in seismology. Undergrad in sociology and women's studies. I had a minor in African dance. But enough politics. <laughs> the great line. You got this. Or do you got this? I don't know, this is invincible. Maybe you don't got this. Oh, nice improvising. Nah, you got him, you got him. That was a fake out. Yeah, okay. Woo! Alright then. They are amazing together. It's very well conceived. They're pairing. Good stuff. I gotta go! I, I, I'll talk to you later, Eve! Thanks! Is Amber still there? You're welcome. Whoa, slow down. You got your suit on. That's the tricky part of the job. Balancing what you want to do with what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Imagine Amber just walks out right now. <laughs> no, no, you're not just a superhero, Mark. You're a Viltrumite. Mm. We have Mark's done. Responsibilities mm -hmm. that normal humans don't. Mm, right, yeah. But I got needs right now that normal humans do. <laughs> You might want to change. Right, right, right. That's oh. good advice. Crap. They'll just get it out all in the open. She likes honesty. Does he have blood on his shoulder? Oh my, oh my god. I am so sorry. I've been sitting here for an hour. Impressive if you did that all in an hour. I don't even know why I came. I'm surprised she's getting so upset about it. Doesn't seem like her style. For the record, Todd kicked your ass. For the record, that's absolutely true. <laughs> I've had guys throw punches for me before, but you're the first one who stood there and took them. Twice. Is that the secret? <laughs> I finished all the review questions while you were off saving the world or whatever. Interesting choice of words there. Oh, good God. Calamari for dinner? Oh, that's what it was. I thought it was an alien appendage. It's considered a delicacy in some places and an aphrodisiac. <laughs> Like you need it. Gross. Did you call Cecil? I'm Mark in the show. Protection on the house. I was kind of busy. But he knows we don't need protection. He is the one who knocks. Yep, Omni Man is both the cure and the disease. It would seem. I've been waiting on you. You'll be all right. Walk it off. I screwed up, Eve. I know I did. I just, I just. No, I don't Eve, know why no. I keep doing this. I don't want to. You know that, right? You know I love you. No, Eve, no. I'll be better. But he said he keeps I, doing I it. I promise. Good luck with the new team, Rex. There you go. Have some self respect. Fuck. You fed up. Although, then again, you know. <laughs> Ooh, maybe he's just rethinking that Rex decision now. Ciao time. This is literally my life right now. Oh, sorry, Pete. Hey. 
Seems like a big oversight having his hand unlock the the cell. As the original article, my intellect's undiluted by the cloning process that created you. Oh, please, just open the door. Nah, he's gonna lord it over you first a little bit. At I'm least you got chicken pot pie. Yes, you are. But who let them out, I wonder, and why? Nice. You know, despite being villains, I feel like these two are being painted very sympathetically. I guess they're gonna play a key role. They were the characters that kind of opened the show, right? I'm surprised you don't see it. You being the original and all. What the hell? So much for a sympathetic light. So, give me an update. You get my team ready is for it, the deep end yet? Is it? It is. I work to do. Why? What are you? The nuclear option should have known. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no, Hellboy's here. Time to recruit mom. He's gonna drop the hint, and it's immediately gonna resonate with her because she suspects. Has been told you nothing, not a whisper to soothe your fears. He's a terrible liar. I think it's his arrogance. Debbie? You all right? It's all the things he's not saying. I, I heard something. I was just coming to bed. This is the start of growing doubt. The seed has been planted in Debbie. The seed has been planted. <laughs> mm-hmm. Must kill Debbie. I mean, <laughs> well, who knows? This is on the man, and he does whatever he wants, apparently. So I enjoyed this episode quite a bit. I really love the... Some of the character focus. Mark is growing on me a lot, and surprisingly, or maybe unsurprisingly, I love his little like slice of love, slice of love, slice of life stuff that he's going through with Amber and Pink Girl, whatever her name is. A lot of the characters are becoming more clear. Omni Man's personality is becoming a little bit more clear, as is his weakness, which is arrogance. The plot just thickened with Robot a lot. Debbie has got a lot going on. Initially, I thought she just didn't care, and that was a joke, but the more I think about it, and the more I see, the more I think she does care and she's like protecting herself from herself. If she were to fully examine the suspicions she has, it would risk damaging her entire life. And I think on some level she is aware of a lot more than she's letting on. And so this clue, I guess, from Hellboy is a big deal because it kind of sheds a light on that. So there's a lot going on. It's starting to get complex. It's a lot of fun. I feel like this is one of the funniest episodes too. But yeah, that's the end of episode three. I'll see you guys next time for the halfway point of Invincible Season 1 already.